Ezra Taylor, um, an upcoming boxer in amateur amateur ranks. Um, currently six and zero, six wins, um, no losses. Uh, light heavyweight champion of Central England as well, so undefeated as well. Just sound nice. Um, but yeah, started off boxing. I think around could be when I was 15. I'm now 21. Um, I was 15 when boxing for a bit while I started my school period. Um, I was alright. I was at, I was in the beginners class. I moved up to the begin to the intermediate class, but I was at a stage where I was too good for the beginners, but I was not good enough to keep up with the intermediates. So I was in a I was in a common ground really. Um, so I kind of I went started with my friends, but now I, yeah, I stopped with my friends because again I started to progress and they didn't. So I started to lose interest in it. Um, so then after that, obviously got the education out of the way, went to college etc. Um, did one year at uni. And I thought, I went gym for a bit in the period that I was out of boxing. Um, so I started going gym for a bit, I think two years straight. And then I thought, let me go back into boxing to see what it is I can do for that, obviously for that sport. Because again, football and basketball and etc. it wasn't really my forte. It wasn't about me. I like playing it, but I was never good at it. And you obviously, a sport, as a teenager, you want to be good at something. So I came back to boxing. Um, Started training a bit harder now, so I was a bit heavier, a bit taller than I was when I was 15. Uh, started, I think I started back when I was 19. I started taking it serious, and then after that, I had my first fight. Uh, back was I was only last year as well, so I'm 21 now. I had my first fight when I was 20, um, and that's when the passion just started growing. To be fair, so I'll be coming in every day. It's right here. I box with Bilbro Boxing Club as well um, in Nottingham. So yeah, from then the passion just started growing. I'm here every day working hard towards what I want to be so the aim is to be in GB the Olympics so that's what it is so at the moment for that I'm just gonna have to keep working hard again at the moment it's currently um, 23rd, 23rd of February today 2016 I've got a fight on Friday which is the 26th again it's another belt fight against um, a good opponent called Jordan Ringham at the moment currently he boxes for Bulwark so again that's still in Nottingham so that's local um, he's got two belts at the moment and I've only got one so we're putting both our belts on the line and we're going to go to war on the 26th so hopefully fingers crossed where's it going to be? Where's um, it's going to be in Derby it's going to be in Derby um, I'm not too sure it's going to be our working men's club I'm not too familiar with the area but um, we get the details on Facebook again we've got our own Facebook page um, the build a boxing ABC if you want to follow me on that then can do so uh, my Facebook personally is Ezzy Taylor okay, that's the most updates for any boxing news for myself but yeah hopefully um, let's say 2018 2019 Olympics that's where I'm gonna be at so you can watch me on the TV you really need to watch me behind the screen now as well but yeah that's me that's boxing for myself that's my life as well getting okay, my work um, call center but Sometimes you go to the call center and you sit there and it's not what, it's not what I want to do. It makes me the passion grows more in boxing. So again, knowing that I'm not going to stay at a call center, knowing boxing is my life, that is what it's going to be. So I'm going to have to keep trying hard until I get there. But yeah, thanks um, for the time, obviously, giving me the interview as well, the cameraman. Thank you, my hand.